Princess Beatrice wedding, why B won't become Duchess when she marries. Princess Beatrice's wedding will take place later this year when she will tie the knot with her fiancé Eduardo Mapli Mazzi. But her marriage won't guarantee her the title of Duchess. Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapli Mazzi will hold their wedding at the Chapel Royal in St. James's Palace on May 29. By virtue of being a princess, B is entitled to the Royal Highness title, but she won't become a Duchess when she marries. Here's why. Royal titles are offered to members of the family by the Queen after they are married. This was the case when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle married and became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But the title is not given after every royal wedding, for example when B's sister Princess Eugenie got married, she did not become a Duchess. There are two ways to become a Duke or a Duchess, either the title is inherited or it's bestowed by the Queen. The rule or tradition associated with the inheritance of the title seems a little outdated. Only sons and grandsons of the monarch can receive royal dukedoms, the highest ranking hereditary title. When Eugenie was married to Jack Brooks Bank, there was no precedent for her to be named a duchess. Furthermore, as a woman, she was not eligible to inherit her father's dukedom of York. Non-royal females have been able to take the title of duchess. B and Eugenie's mother Sarah Ferguson became the Duchess of York when she married Prince Andrew because her husband is a duke. Since they've divorced, she can still use the title but her name is now styled as Sarah, Duchess of York. There are 30 dukes in the UK, only five of which are members of the royal family and whose titles are ceremonial, plus Prince Charles, who is the current Duke of Cornwall and head of a 135,000-acre estate known as the Duchy of Cornwall. In the case of Beatrice, the Queen could make an exception by handing her the title of Duchess. However, Eugenie and her sister are not full-time working royals, so there is no real validity in it. But with Meghan and Harry stepping back from their roles as senior royals, there is a suggestion that Beatrice could take on a bigger role within the royal family. This was hinted at when the Queen offered the Princess Buckingham Palace as a location for her wedding reception. This is a rare treat and one not seen since the wedding of Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. A Daily Mail source said, It was a really special gesture as it will be the first wedding celebration at Buckingham Palace since William and Catherine's in 2011. This may be the surest sign yet that 31-year-old Beatrice could become a working royal role. The Crown's royal historian, Robert Lacey, told Hello! Magazine. It's quite clear that one of the consequences is that Beatrice and Eugenie will now be brought forward, if they're willing to be brought forward. Beatrice has never been a working royal and has her own job at an American company. She is vice president of partnerships and strategy at Affinity where she focuses on client development. Her salary is unknown, but her income was subsidized by her father, Prince Andrew. The Queen's scandal-riddled son who stepped back as a working royal last year. This might prove even more reason for Beatrice and her younger sister, Eugenie, to step up. Royal surprise, three-year-old boy to be best man at Beatrice and Eduardo's wedding. Eduardo Mapli Mazzi's three-year-old son Christopher will be the best man at Princess Beatrice's wedding in May. Little Christopher, or Wolfie will be the youngest person ever in British royal history to have carried out a role at a royal wedding. A palace source told the Daily Mail, I can confirm that Wolfie will be best man. A friend of the young couple say that they decided to choose Wolfie to show him that he is much loved by his stepmother. Wolfie's mother is the 37-year-old American architect Dara Huang. Ms. Huang and Mr. Matsi had Wolfie in 2016 and were engaged to marry until they broke up in 2018. Wolfie's mother is expected to attend the royal wedding at Chapel Royal in St. Jamie's Palace and the reception, which will take place in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. The last time a reception was held at the palace was when William married Kate in 2011. Princess Beatrice will be given away by her father, Prince Andrew in what will be the Duke of York's first major role since stepping back from royal duties. Mr. Mazzi is a successful property developer and is the son of Count Alessandro Alex Mapli Mazzi. 
The Count used to be an alpine skier and competed in three events at the 1972 Winter Olympics. By virtue of being a princess, Beatrice is entitled to the Royal Highness title, but she won't become a duchess when she marries. Royal titles are offered to members of the family by the Queen after they are married. This was the case when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle married and became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But the title is not given after every royal wedding, for example when Beatrice's sister Princess Eugenie got married, she did not become a Duchess. There are two ways to become a Duke or a Duchess, either the title is inherited or it's bestowed by the Queen. The rule or tradition associated with the inheritance of the title seems a little outdated. Only sons and grandsons of the monarch can receive royal dukedoms, the highest ranking hereditary title. When Eugenie was married to Jack Brooks Bank, there was no precedent for her to be named a duchess. Furthermore, as a woman, she was not eligible to inherit her father's dukedom of York. Non-royal females have been able to take the title of duchess. Beatrice and Eugenie's mother Sarah Ferguson became the Duchess of York when she married Prince Andrew because her husband is a duke. Since they've divorced, she can still use the title but her name is now styled as Sarah, Duchess of York. There are 30 dukes in the UK, only five of which are members of the royal family and whose titles are ceremonial, plus Prince Charles, who is the current Duke of Cornwall and head of a 135,000-acre estate known as the Duchy of Cornwall. In the case of Beatrice, the Queen could make an exception by handing her the title of Duchess. Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapley Mozzi make royal history with best man announcement. Another royal wedding is coming. Princess Beatrice and her fiancé Eduardo Mapley Mozzi have asked his three year old son to be best man at their main nuptials. The honor means that little Christopher, who is affectionately known as Wolfie, will be the youngest person to perform a role at a royal wedding in British history. I can confirm that Wolfie will be best man, a spokesman for the couple confirmed to the Daily Mail. It is also reported that he was handed the important role because Beatrice and Dado want to show him how important he is to his stepmother. Earlier this month, Buckingham Palace announced new details regarding the upcoming royal wedding. The Queen's granddaughter will marry on Friday 29th of May with the ceremony to take place at the Chapel Royal, St. James's Palace. The official statement read, The wedding of HRH Princess Beatrice of York and Mr. Eduardo Mapley Mozzi will take place on Friday 29th of May 2020. The couple became engaged in Italy in September 2019. Her Majesty the Queen has kindly given permission for the ceremony to take place at the Chapel Royal, St. James's Palace. The ceremony will be followed by a private reception, given by the Queen, in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. The couple have also asked well-wishers kindly not to give them gifts, but instead to find out more about the work of young persons charity Big Change and Cricket Brings Hope, an organization that uses the game as a tool for positive social change in Rwanda. Property developer Eduardo proposed to Beatrice in September 2019 during a romantic weekend away in the groom-to-be's native Italy. The statement from the palace read, The Duke and Duchess of York are delighted to announce the engagement of Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice of York to Mr. Eduardo Mapley Mozzi. Her Royal Highness and Mr. Mapley Mozzi became engaged while away for the weekend in Italy earlier this month. The wedding will take place in 2020. Further details will be announced in due course. The couple said in a statement, We are extremely happy to be able to share the news of our recent engagement. We are both so excited to be embarking on this life adventure together and can't wait to actually be married. We share so many similar interests and values, and we know that this will stand us in great stead for the years ahead, full of love and happiness.